Today we will be showing you how to replace an HP LTO SAS interface tape drive. This will apply to both full height and half height drives and will also cover procedures for both tabletop units and also internally mounted drives inside server or rack mount enclosures. If this is an internally mounted server drive, you will need to schedule downtime so that the server can be powered off for the drive replacement. If this is a tabletop drive or a drive mounted in a rack mount enclosure, you will not need to power the host server off for the replacement. However, you will need to scan the host server for hardware changes and restart backup software services once the replacement is complete. Once you have scheduled downtime, if it is needed, before powering off the host machine, you should always check to see if there is a tape in the faulty tape drive. If there is, please attempt to use the eject button on the front of the tape drive to eject the tape. If it fails to eject properly and the tape is stuck, you will need to manually remove your tape from the drive once you have completed the replacement. Please see our video about removing a stuck tape from an HP LTO tape drive if you have any questions on how this process works. Once you have verified that the drive is clear of any tapes and powered off your host machine if needed, it will be time to power off your tape drive if it is a tabletop unit or rack mount enclosure. If it is an internal drive to the server, it will have powered off when you shut down the host server. To power off a tabletop unit or rack mount enclosure, hit the power button on the unit once. Now, if this is a tabletop unit, the next step will be to unplug the power cable from the rear of the unit and then remove the SAS cable from the rear. If this is an internal drive inside a server or rack mount enclosure, you will first need to gain access to the internal area of the server or rack mount enclosure. Then, you will need to unplug the SAS and power cables from the rear of the drive. If this is an LTO5 generation or newer, there will only be an SAS connector on the rear of the drive. If it is an LTO4 generation or older, there will be both an SAS and Molex power connector. If this is an internal drive, you will now need to unmount it from the server or rack mount enclosure. Please follow the correct procedure for your specific application to do this. As there are many different applications for these style drives, we cannot cover them all in this video. Any specific questions should be directed to your server or rack mount enclosure OEM or maintenance provider. You are now ready to install and hook up the replacement drive to your host system. For internal drives, please follow the appropriate procedure for your application to install the drive correctly into your server or rack mount enclosure. Then hook the SAS and power cables to the rear of the drive and ensure they are secure before closing up the enclosure or server. For tabletop drives, Please ensure that the SAS cable is hooked to the back of the unit correctly and secure before plugging the power cable into the back of the unit. Now you can power on the drive if it is a tabletop unit or rack mount enclosure. Please wait for the drive to initialize completely with a solid green status light. Now if it is an internal drive you can power on your host system. If you have the ability to do so, you should watch the post process of your host system and ensure that the drive is seen correctly on the host bus prior to booting into the operating system. If you do not see the drive displayed correctly during the post process of your host system, please power the host system down and check all cabling going to the drive. Then power the host system back up if needed. If this was a tabletop or rack mount enclosure drive, you will instead need to scan the hardware bus for changes and ensure the operating system detects the replacement drive. You will now need to reconfigure your backup software to be able to use the drive you just replaced. All backup software handles this process differently. For our purposes, since we use Symantec Backup Exec, we simply need to restart the services to allow the tape services to detect the replaced drive. Your backup software procedure may be different. Any questions regarding backup software should be directed to the manufacturer or software support. If you are having any issues with the replacement drive being seen by the host system or the drive is not powering on correctly, please open a ticket through the Rocket Plus customer portal. Thanks for watching. This has been another video by the Top 10 USA video production team. We look forward to sharing more content with you going forward, so please check out our YouTube channel and please subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a new piece of content.